On the 2nd of June 2017, the music of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt was officially released on vinyl for the first time. The record was issued by label Space Lab 9. The game itself was developed by Polish studio CD Projekt Red, the creators of all three Witcher games, as well as Gwent Card Game and the anticipated Cyberpunk 2077. The soundtrack was composed by Marcin Przybułowicz, Mikołaj Stroiński and Percival Band. A Frankfurt Symphony Orchestra can also be found in the credits. If we were to encase the overall sound of the Wild Hunt in a single word, that would probably be crisp. It's just that lively, fresh and savory. What is more, one does not have to be a music connoisseur to feel the extraordinary atmosphere of the soundtrack. The final release differs from the digital version in terms of the tracklist content and order. The LP does not contain King Brand's Final Voyage, Whispers of Oxenford, Care Moran and Eyes of the Wolf. Nevertheless, the remaining tunes fill up two 12-inch discs, summing up to 35 tracks with total playing time of 70 minutes. Composer Marcin Trzebułowicz told us that the idea here was to treat the vinyl release as something special. Hence, the decision to add four pieces which were previously available only to those who pre-ordered the game. Because of that, a few other tracks had to be removed from the disc. The quality of the packaging is a contemporary standard. The front cover art depicts a Leshen, a Slavic demon and the Lord of the Woods. The inside of the gatefold is painted in the same black and red style, with Geralt's silhouette and the castle far in the background. The whole thing almost resembles a comic book. The illustrations were created by Karolina Oksienska, and the concept was designed also by Adam Badowski and Przemysław Juszczyk. The discs themselves are not packed in anti-static sleeves by default. The center of each LP has a raven painted on it. The first pressing of The Witcher 3 vinyls appeared in a surprising edition, strictly limited to 200 copies of two LPs each. 50 of those were signed by the composers. There was also an exclusive Game of the Year edition, which included three discs, two red ones and a blue one, with the music of the first expansion pack, Hearts of Stone. The three vinyl edition was available only through a German store, Gaia Entertainment, while the remaining 150 were released in a grey color, nicknamed Geralt's Beard. We don't have to remind you here about the game's popularity around the world, so if you wish to put one of these in your collection, you'll have to browse the secondary market. Right now, the first edition can be found on auctions, reaching prices well above 100 US dollars. The label has already announced a re-edition, however without an official date of release. <laughs> 